Hello and welcome back. Pockets here. I'm playing some more Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, picking up right where we left off. It has been a few days since I last played, but I did watch a couple videos in my semi-downtime when I couldn't be playing and have some idea what I'm going to do next. So I'm obviously going to still make mistakes, but, you know, we'll figure it out from there. So this is what we have here. This is... See, I don't know these other tests. They could take a long time. This one's 25% more credits. This is 25% more experience. Um, hmm. Let's try it. Let's try it. So what the plan is, is to do a couple jobs to make up a bit of money. I'd like to be at about eight to 10,000 by the time we hit level five. Uh, so when we unlock the junkyard, we can use that to grind money as well. So let's see what this job says. Oh, nice and easy. We don't have to take it inside for this. Okay. Uh, so what I will do is I will do that on camera. We'll refill the three things we need to refill. And then off camera, I'll quickly do the scanning and that just to get the XP. Um, I did notice that the flu flu fluid doesn't really matter if you overfill it. You just kind of fill it to, you know, about full. It saves you a little bit of money, but it's not, it's all very negligible and there's no penalty to overfilling it. So all the stuff I was talking about in the last about the fluids obviously does not apply. So that's fine. We just want to make sure we put enough that it counts. Okay. And then let's see what else. Power steering was the other one. It's probably over on... Spin it around. There it is. So we'll do this. So this job's nice, quick, done, out of the way. It's actually going to take me a lot longer to scan the things than it did to do this job. This one, I can't see the thing. I can almost see it through there, but... Almost there. We'll just wait there. That's good enough, I think, because we can kind of see it in the top. So that should be the job done. Yes. All right. So that's that job done. It'll pay a little bit. I'll cash it in with you guys. But before I do that, I want to do all my scanning. So, you know, as I said, you have these tools. If you want to go through and do all these tests, it'll give you experience point for each one. So let me cut it there, and I'll bring you back when all my scans are done. And we should be closer to that 375 points. All right. And there we go. So that took about four minutes to do all the tests and got us really close to the 375. So cashing this in, we'll see what we get. Uh, I don't know if anywhere it tells me. Yeah, they're going to pay me 78 credits. So, I mean, obviously it doesn't pay a lot, but it gets us a little start and it was only like three more points. So cool. Those jobs don't pay a lot, but they're quick and they do get us the XP. So let's see what else. I think suspension is probably not bad, but let's go ahead and just, so for the sake of the video, let's take this Story job. Oh, no, wait, sorry. Suspension here. Ooh. Kind of want to do it for the bonus XP, but it's really not a lot. Gear and... Eh. Yeah, I don't know if it's better to take these small jobs or just do the stories, but let's do this. Hopefully I have everything I need for this. So... Okay. Change and drain the oil. And change all the other fluids. And, okay. So we'll just go drain everything but the washer fluid. We'll do the repairs here. Hopefully I have enough good credits for it. Move to... I'd like to get one of the storylines done. That would be great. That was a pretty quick job for the very first one. So let's do this. Uh, sorry, what was I looking at? Let's do... We're going to drain everything but the washer fluid first. So let's get in there. We'll drain it. Because they want this all flushed. That radiator is definitely hurting. That's the storyline missions do take longer, but I think you get a fair bit more for it. Uh, coolant is in here because it's an older car, and we got to take the radiator anyway. Radiator out anyway, and let's lift it up. And we'll get the oil out of it before we start working on the engine, just because we have to do it anyway, and I don't want to make a mess because it charges you money every time you jump fluids on the ground. But yeah, watching the videos, I think I've got a better idea what I'm doing now, so. Things should go a little smoother, hopefully. Hopefully I have enough. 4,000 should be enough. Bit back. Uh, do we have to do anything from under here? Like the starter's okay. Usually that's from underneath, right? Mm, that's probably, yeah, that's one that's got to come out. And the oil filter is from under here, usually. 
Then I think the rest is from inside the engine base, so we'll lower things down. Not that. Oh yeah. Uh, so alternator. Did it say starter? Starter. Oil filter. Yeah. Cool. So radiator. Basically in these ones, I think it's anything that shows up with a number. Uh, this. Idle roller A, I think. It won Did it want an idle roller? Let's see. Yep. I don't know if we have to get in there, but we'll, s we'll just get this off because I got to get the water pump and the alternator off. Or that's water? Yeah, water pump. So we'll get those out of here. And we'll see if there's anything under the timing cover. Just kind of keeping an eye out for other very rusty parts as I'm doing this. Oh, gotta take off the pulley. Crankshaft pulley. Uh, yeah, and here I bet you the belt tensioner and this uh, cam gear. Oh, rusted, rusted bolt. I might actually, with my next points, take the five percent discount just to save a little bit of money while we can't while we're buying everything. Cam gear, belt tensioner, alternator, clutch plates on the other side, clutch release, fuel filter, and fuel pump. Got to get those. Uh, ignition wires I can get. So I don't think there's a relay. Type A, yeah. Timing belt, which we just took off. Serpentine belt, yeah, serpentine belt. Other relay. So there is nothing in under here. We do have to get our coil wires. Where are you in this car? Not as familiar with these old what, Volvo things. Might be under this cover? No. This has got to go. Oh, here they are, the ignition wires. They just didn't look rested. Okay. And then back here, we'll grab this. Okay, and we got to go get the spark plugs. Is it, what is this, is a four cylinder? All right, so it'll be Spark plugs are right here, and it's just the four on that one side. Yeah. I think it wants all four. They look pretty rusted, so we'll grab those. Oops. I didn't see any, like, camp shafts or any of that kind of stuff. Okay, let's see what else. I have all that. I have that. I have to get these two. Still, I got that, got that, got that, got that, got that, got that. Four spark plugs, starter timer, belt, water pump, serpentine. Yep, so let's grab the... Take off this uh, drive shaft. Can I? Oh, I have to get under the car. Duh. Can't take your drive shaft off through the engine bay, even if you can see it through the invisible car. There we go. Oh, yeah. Come on. What's. I want to take this off. What's stopping me? What's stopping me? Oh, I wasn't clicked on it. I was still thinking it was the body. Well, that was useful. <laughs> That's a silly error to have. I wasn't... Oh, it's a rusted bolt. Look at that. Okay. Did I get it? Yep. Take this off. So we got to get at the clutch stuff. Yeah, I can't wait to get into, like, full rebuilds and stuff and making... That's that's what I want to do. That'll be a lot of fun. Custom paint job, the paint jobs, and you know, doing all the repairing and all that. Upgrading maybe even eventually. Apparently is a thing. Clutch plate. I think that's everything, right? Alternator, cam gear, clutch plate, clutch release bearing was the first thing. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. All right. Oops. I guess I could have stayed in there. No, oh, I can't. Here, shopping list first. That's what I was trying to do the first time. Go there. And that, and that, and that, not that, not that. Those four things, fuel pump, cam gear, uh, timing belt, tensioner, alternator water pump, two serpentine belts, roller adder. I wonder if it'll take this one. That's the one I took off the last car. I'm gonna try it. What's their percentage required? They want 75%, so that won't cut it. Uh, 
So we'll go ahead and grab another one. All right. Clutch plate. Clutch pressure plate. Clutch release bearing. Oh, spark plugs are somewhere else. Oops. Uh, fuel pump. Ignition wires will be somewhere else. Fuel filter. Cam gear. Is it just the one? It was. Brakes. It's only one cam. Duh. Timing belt. Belt tensioner. Alternator. That's in the other spot. Water pump. Oh. That's. I just bought another freaking clutch. I'll save that. I'll need it eventually. I'm getting a little too clicky. Belt. Idle roller. Radiator. Starter. What? Oh, that's electronic. Okay, let's go grab the electronics. We have spark plugs times four. Ignition wires. Buy it. Uh, fuel filter, cam gear, timing belt, alternator. Water pump. Starter. Okay, let's clear this. Uh, let's put things back together. That's nice and quick. Click in. Click plus. Clutch plate. Now I have two of these. Oh, I didn't buy two. Yes. Okay, I thought I bought an extra one, but I did not. That's good. That's okay, though. I mean, the next job that needs... They almost always need them is what I can... What I've seen in the videos, they almost always need them. All right. Uh, that doesn't need to be... That's their own. They didn't say they wanted the whole transmission replaced. We'll see what kind of boost we get. See how much better these pay and what's not as we get there. I think after this video, if I remember, I'm going to put up a poll. I'll see if people want to watch the full thing or they want to see me just cut to like... Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Um cut to where I have every kind of level 15 area where I have things unlocked and we can do all the other, all the actual auction house, <laughs> junkyard rebuilds, that sort of thing. You know, 80 to 100 grand, something like that. So I could skip to all that, but I'm kind of enjoying the playthrough, so it might be nice to share this adventure all the way through, but obviously if people would rather watch just the end stuff, we can do that too. Let's get into here and put the alternator on. One bolt, two bolts. Stick that radiator up front. I have to remember to fill all these. Uh, cam gear. I think it's the V8s that have two cam gears in some of them. Most of them. Honestly, don't know. That's something I'll have to... As we get further into it, we'll find out. Timing cover, yep. Okay, put on the water pump. Good. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. I think I got it all. Okay, timing belt, serpentine belt, and the serpentine belt A, ooh, the fuses, I gotta do the fuses, got the roller, okay, is that everything but the fuses now, I think so, let's go take a look, the fuse box is here, can I minus that out, no, okay, and it's an A, the B. Nice here is, I think, like I said, as long as you, since I haven't done the tests, everything that's been, that's like uh, listed, that shows a rating, is the words I was looking for. So we need this, this, it should be just the two fuses, right? Uh, what's missing? Oh, I gotta put the fuel filter and the fuel pump on, yes. Ignition wires haven't gone back on yet. Relay A and Relay B and the spark plugs. Right, let's get those purchased. Let's get those purchased. Did I link? Yes, I did. We're in the electronics already, so we'll grab one of those. One of those. All right, and then fuel filters back here. Oh, let's get these while we're up front here. Might as well stick these babies in. 
Spark plugs. And then the wires. Which I did buy, yes. <laughs> and then what's the last thing? Fuel pump. I think that's now everything, except the fuel filter, which is what I was gonna do, but I got distracted by the wires, right? It's on the back side usually, up here. Ugh, get up in here. There it is. Alright. Slam the hood. All done. We gotta refill refill these. And then I will cut to do the scanning one more time. And we'll top up the washer fluid as well, I think it wanted us to do. Right. Oop. Okay. Skeepy skeepy. What about uh, over here somewhere? What am I looking for again? I don't know how to play this game. Uh, oil. Fill that. There's the radiator and the power steering. All right, and the washer over there in the corner, I think. Yeah, over there to the right. Sweet deal. Oh, we are level four now too. Hooray. Okay, that's that. Power steering fluid. Oh, no, we just took out the power steering well reservoir. Let's put that back in. Let's do this right. Click on the lid. I do... I'm going to do that a lot, I bet. Okay. This one wasn't exactly overly exciting, and I think it'll be much more fun when we can do, like, full rebuilds and upgrade engines and put turbos on engines that don't... Did it again, see? Oh, and I didn't drain it, so it charged me 50 credits. Take that. So now it's not going to charge me 50 credits because I actually took it out full, but now it's going to... Now I have to pay whatever was there. It's extra couple credits I have to pay for the stuff that was already in there. <laughs> Sweet deal. Okay. That should get us there. Yep. All right. So this should be the job done. Yeah, that's all those done. It's going to pay us 2,600 credits. So not bad. That's going to put us about five grand. All right. So we'll send this away in just a moment, but I'm going to cut here while I do my little scans and get the experience points for that. So stand by and we'll be right back. All right, there we go. Whoops, there we go. We got that all scanned up. 81 experience, almost level five. That's gonna be awesome. Let's ship this baby and see what we got. Uh, so 2,500 credits oh, and how much XP? 200, haha. <laughs> see, that's, that's how you get there, but Looking at the time, looks like we have time for one more, maybe two. So let's see what we get. Uh, so we got to watch these because they're going to start getting into things that we may have to buy parts for. We could do another one of these. This is an engine. Let's do this. We haven't done like an engine. Inspect and replace filters. That's not actually going to be that bad. Let's take it quick. What well, would have been neat, and just as you know, obviously not someone who's played this game a lot, but what if like they had it set up so you have like a meter or these aren't available just right away you have to do a certain number of these like one-off jobs get an, uh, some sort of metric here that unlocks these so you do a bunch of these then you unlock the storyline job i'm worried that this we're going to start running into ones where we have to buy tools that we just don't have because uh, like we only have the testers what if we need I don't know, it might want us to have the belt lathe, which isn't bad, Like, but this one here, we may not really want to buy that. I'm just a little bit worried we're going to get to that point. Uh, but before we start this job, let's clean up our inventory a bit and open this crate of ours. And sorry about that cut, had to plug the power into my headset before it died. We were going to open this crate, because I didn't... Our level 4 crate, what do we get? Okay, and another crate, I like getting those crates. Let's take those and let's open the crate. Give me 300 experience. Another crate. And a map. Cool. 
My understanding is we don't do those till we have lots of money because the cars are can be expensive to acquire. That's some more that's some more salvage and another crate. <laughs> Just grind open the crates. I don't know of any reason to not open them. <laughs> It'd be nice if we were doing experience plus crate over and over and over, but... Oh my god, okay. We'll just keep going. Now, if you know of a reason to save the crates, like, do you get more... Do these numbers higher at higher levels? There we go. That's the end of our luck. And let's sell anything that's under the default 30. Oops, I just... I don't want... Uh, v to sell parts under 30. Yeah, so if we find one that takes one of these, we might be able to get away with it. And I want to check my shopping list. Yeah, figure that out. All right, let's see what's wrong with this. I think it's a Sylvia. Would that be right? Or... Oh, well, of course it's a Sylvia. It's actually a branded Nissan Sylvia. It looks <laughs> good guess, Pockets. Nice. All right, what do we got? It just wanted, like, filters, right? Oil filter, fuel filter, or air filter, fuel filter, oil filter. Minimum 58%. We might... What do these run? Are they, uh... Four or six? Turbo four? I think so. Interesting. It's been a while. You'd think I'd know. A friend that had a Sylvia much like this. Not green, it was grey, but... It's the blue one. Is that what I have? It is. Oh, okay. Do I need to I need to drain the oil first, right? So I take the filter off without draining the oil, it's going to get all in my face. So let's do that. Yeah. It is an inline four. I don't know if this one was even turbo, is it? Because they want... Air filter changed, which probably means no. Okay, let's pop this off. We'll see if it'll let me cheese it a little. Did that count? It did. All right. And then fuel and air filter. So, yeah. Bring her down. I said bring it down. Uh, air filters in here. Yeah, no turbo. Interesting. Oh, wait. Turbocharger right there. Cool. Little guy hidden in the back. I got distracted. Let's remove this filter. Take out these little clips. this off. How bad is it? 23%. That's probably going to get sold. Then we hit here, we hit X, and then I'm going to buy that tablet, I swear. I should just buy it. Saw one of the guys on, U on the YouTube video watching it. It's nice not having to run away to the computer every time. It's only 500. Oop, we don't need that. We need uh, parts. It's this one, right? Just click to make sure. Yeah. Uh, we're probably gonna need a fuel filter as well, but we'll do we'll get that when we get there. No. Click on the right things, it makes the game go a lot smoother. Can we can we put this in? Thank you. We'll put our cap lid back on. And our little clips. One. Fiddly little things. One of the things I like about the game is the detail. I know it's not perfect, but it's a pretty good, you know. All right, uh, fuel filter back here. Nice engine, I like it. Oh, I'm on plus mode. Yeah, I do like this engine, it's pretty cute. Now we can just go here, go up here, fuel, cap locks is on, oopsie. Buy it, cap locks off. Go into plus mode, fuel filter on. And ship the car. I'm not, oh, I really don't want to scan it all.
All right, I'm going to do a quick scan of everything, get the XP from it, because why not? And we will be right back. All right, all scanned up and ready to go. Whew. It, does, it does take a little time, but it's, you know, the extra little bit of experience. It's going to get us to where we want to go quicker. Make sure everything here is done. Send it. Car has no engine oil because I got distracted and didn't refill it. Probably not a good idea. All right. I didn't take anything else out that needed flu flu fluids, so we can get this shipped. All right. Nope, not that button. Don't want to move it. We want to sell it. Or send it back to the customer. 18 experience. There we go. So we have just over 5,000. So maybe... Do suspension on a 350? Ooh, a Carrera. Okay, let's do both of these. Quick, quick, quick. No, quick, get me in there. Ah! Before it's gone. Okay, we'll do both of these real quick at the end of the video and see how it goes. Both cars that I would love to drive. But move you inside. I would love to. I mean, I'd own a Porsche. I'd even own this one. 4S. Okay, let's get you up on the blocks here. It was just brakes, right? So we need ABS. There's a caliper, a disc, and pads. I'll see if I can find them without. Oops. Huh. Uh, is the brake module in the front on these? Or it should be by the engine, I would assume, but you never know. here. Pop the cover off. There it is. It's the module, not the pump, so we'll just take this off. Oh, one more. That's that. And then we'll see it's one caliper, disc, and pad. So we'll see if... Let's get this up to eye level. Actually, I think I can crouch, right? Can I crouch? I uh, don't know how if I can, so... See? So that one looks good. See if we can see the disc through the rim. This disc is poached, so let's take this wheel off. And it's C to crouch. That worked out. So that's the disc we have to replace. Maybe it's this whole section. Uh, nope, this caliper's fine, and I think the pad looks fine. We'll see. Uh, yeah, it looks okay. So it'll be one of the front ones for the caliper and pad. Take this off. Okay. See? Down here. Caliper looks fine on this one, and I think the pad's okay. Yeah, instead of crouching, we're just going to bring this up. Yeah, there's the caliper. Can I get all three? No. Grab this, pop it off. So if you're watching this, feel free to ask questions. It's got to be this pad. Yeah, right. Huh? Why? I took the wheel off. It's not this pad. Oh, well, maybe it is. No. I guess we'll put this back together. Must be the back. Maybe I just didn't see it. I could have used the highlighting, I know. But I wanted to make it more exciting. Oh yeah, you can see it right there, rust. Better from this angle. Let's get into minus mode. Alright, pop that off. Caliper. Off. There we go, and get this pad. Okay, whoops, I guess I could have done it from in there. That would have been 
the right move. So boom, uh, caliper. Is it going to be okay? It might be. I'll see what the minimum is. Nope, not that. That's from the other car. All right. Store. Brake pads. Caliper. Let's see if it'll accept the other cylinder. Nope, that's electronics. It's right here. 70, yeah, it should. Uh, yeah. Drum back, the disc back on, not a drum, disc. Pads. Caliber. Uh, this was not the 100% needed calibers. Let's try that. This might be, might give me a hard time with it, but we'll see. I just switched his wheels around maybe, I don't know. Oh, get that one. Okay, let's get over to the other side. Hopefully I did this right. This was pads, it might not like it, but we'll see. I'm not sure how picky it is on if you put the newest parts on the ones you're supposed to replace. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get all three of those. It might be an angle where it works, but getting two is pretty good. Oh, ABS mode. It did accept that. That's good. Uh, bring the car down so we can get into the engine bay. Sit down. Let's see if there's any good jobs. A suspension? Definitely don't want to do an engine. We'll take this job. I don't want to be bad. I don't want to go back outside yet. All right. Uh, we'll put this guy back together. I'm not going to scan this one. I just am close enough and I don't have time now. We're getting close to the end of the video and I need to stop and make supper for the kids. So we'll wrap this one up. Got to put the engine cover back on. Close that. And that should be this one done. Come on. Oh, we're in that mode. Excellent. And it's 25% bonus XP, so let's ship it. Front wheel size are mismatched. Oh no, I put one of the back wheels on the front. Yeah, this one. That's funny. I wasn't paying enough attention. So we gotta swap this for something. <laughs> So thicker back tires, right? Obviously. Uh, that's this one. This one sticks out. It's bigger than the other side. So we'll put the wider ones in the back, right where they belong. That's funny. Uh, so let's go ahead and stick this on, and we look. Uh, 245s in the yeah, 245s in the front. Did I do that right? I hope so. That looks better. Yeah, it's not sticking out. And then we'll put this one. Click. Plus. And 305s. Oof. All right. But yeah, so definitely ask questions down in the comment sections and I'll answer them in my next videos when I to make the videos a lot more exciting. Okay, let's send this off. We'll see what we get and then we'll end the video there. You ready? All right. Very close. All right, that's awesome. So what we'll do is in the beginning of the next video, we'll quickly wrap up these two. This one and then that one. Uh, we don't want to do an engine. What's this? Timing belts. Do we take another Sylvia and do the timing belts? Before we do the story mission, that'll be three jobs. Let's do it. We'll set up our next video with this. That's three cars. We'll get those done in the beginning of the next episode, and then we will do the story mission, and that should be a lot of fun. But, as always, 
Thank you for watching. Definitely leave your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you want to see and all that jazz. Ask questions. If I feel like if I feel I should answer them, I'll definitely do so. And as always, we'll see you all next time. Take care of each other.